Hello, and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to talk about consumer credit. We're going to have a short introduction and then look at some examples of installment loans. So first, before we get into types of consumer credit, let's talk about what consumer credit is. Consumer credit refers to borrowing money to finance expensive purchases. So we might have to borrow money for student loans or for a house, a car, furniture, electronics. Those are all examples of when we might need to borrow money and those be therefore examples of consumer credit. Consumer credit is it's a good thing and a bad thing. It's good because if we don't have the money to pay for this, it provides us with the financing to do so, but it's bad because then we end up spending a lot more money than what the original price actually was. So let's talk about the types of consumer credit now. One type is an installment loan. This involves borrowing a fixed amount up front and paying back in equal installments until the loan plus any interest is paid off. We see these types of loans when you buy furniture or electronics. Those would be very common for installment loans. Another type of loan is a revolving loan. There's no fixed number of installments on a revolving loan, and the most common type of revolving loan by far is credit cards. We're not going to talk about revolving loans in this video. We're only going to focus on examples of installment loans. There's going to be another video or videos dealing with the revolving loans, so stay tuned. Okay, so installment loans. Frequently based on add-on interest, that's interest calculated based on simple interest. So you might recall the simple interest formula is interest equals the principal times rate times time. And remember, rate is usually given as a percent. You need to convert it to a decimal or a fraction by dividing it by 100. The add-on interest is added to the principal borrowed to find the total debt owed. Here are some terms that we're going to see in the examples. So first, we have the total amount. That would be the, the cost, right? The, the entire cost of the item or good. The down payment. So usually when uh, an installment loan is involved, you have to at least put some money down. So if something costs $10,000, maybe you put down $2,000. That would be the down payment. So that's the money paid at the time of the purchase or the time that you walk away with that product. The rest of it is called the amount financed. So the remaining balance from the total amount after the down payment would be the amount financed. And so we would calculate that by doing the total amount subtracted by the down payment. Okay, then we have the finance charge. That's the interest earned on the amount that's financed. So the amount that's financed is right here. So whatever this value is, we're going to say amount financed. The, the finance charge is going to be the amount financed times the interest rate times time given in years. And that would tell you the finance charge, which is the interest you're paying on top of the amount you're financing. The installment price, so to calculate the installment price, that is, it tells us right here, the cost of the amount financed plus the finance charge. So it's taking this and this and adding those two values together. That's going to tell you the total price. Then the monthly payment, the amount that you agree to pay off every month, will be the installment price, which I'm just going to write install, divided by 12, so that's uh, the number of months in a year, times the time agreed upon, so the number of years you agreed to pay this back. Let's look at some examples. Lisa buys $6,100 worth of electronics for her house. She pays $1,400 down and agrees to pay the balance at a 6% 6 uh, 6 add-on rate for four years. And here are the four things we want to find. So first, the amount financed. Remember how we calculate the amount financed? That's the total amount, 6,100, minus the down payment, 1,400. And that value or amount ends up being 4,700. So that's the amount financed. That's the amount that she has to borrow because that's what she's not paying on the spot. Okay, next, the finance charge. Do you remember how to calculate finance charge? That's gonna be the amount financed, so that's 4,700 times that interest rate, where's the interest rate? Right here, 6%, remember we need to convert it to a decimal by dividing by 100, times time she agreed for four years. When we multiply all this together, that's gonna tell us our finance charge, and that's gonna be $1,128. Square dollar signs, there we go. The installment price. So the installment price, that's gonna be the amount financed. Oh, you know what, I think I have it written down so I don't have to actually write it. Ha, huh. the amount financed, which is 4,700 plus the finance charge. So that, that's what this is. This is the finance charge. I don't know why I put the entire formula, but hey, there it is, just in case you didn't believe me the first time. And the finance charge here is gonna be $1,128. So 
So the total amount uh, that Lisa will end up paying in these installments, not total, but in these installments, is $5,828. And you might be saying, wait a minute, that's cheaper than the $6,100 that it originally cost. So isn't she getting a bargain here? Well, no, because if you want to know how much she'd be paying in total, it doesn't ask for this. This is just an added bonus. But the amount that she would be paying for this, this amount would be $5,828 plus, uh, she put $1,400 down, $1,400. So she would end up be, uh, paying $7,228. So over $1,000 more because she had to finance part of it. So like I said, it's good and bad because she ends up paying a lot more than what the actual cost was. Okay, but this is just a little side note. Then we have the monthly payment. So the monthly payment we calculate by doing the installment price. That's $5,828. Dividing it by the years was four times 12. So this is just converting years into months. And make sure that you're following order of operations. If you type in your calculator, 5828 divided by four times 12, all it's going to do is it's going to divide 5,828 by 4, and then it's going to multiply that amount by 12. So your monthly payments are going to be insane if you do that. So what you might want to do is just either calculate this first or do it in your head. That would be 48. That way you won't have an order of operations mistake. If you don't do that, then what you need to do in your calculator is put it in parentheses. So you would say this, and you would do 4 times 12. And when you do that, we're going to round to the nearest cent here. I get that the monthly payments for Lisa are $121.42. So that's what she'll be paying every month for four years. Okay, here's the second and last example. I suggest you pause the video, see if you can come up with the answers on your own, and then you can check back with me. All right, so a couple buys $9,000 worth of furniture for their apartment, and the down payment was $1,000, so there's our down payment and they agree to pay back at 8% add-on for three years. So we wanna find the same thing. So first the amount financed, that's, remember what that is, that's gonna be the total amount, 9,000, minus the down payment, 1,000. So they're financing $8,000. The finance charge, so that's gonna be the amount financed times the interest rate as a decimal or fraction, so we're gonna divide by 100, times the time in years. And when we multiply that through, we end up getting 1920 And the installment price, uh, the total installment price, that's going to be the amount financed plus the finance charge. And that's going to end up being $9,920. And last but not least, the monthly payment. So the monthly payment is the total installment price divided by 12 times the number of years. And again, you want to make sure you're doing this first. That's 36. 9,920 divided by 36 is approximately $275.56. So every month, that's what this couple will have to pay. And just because I like seeing this, let's see how much more they're paying. So you can even see here, they put some money down and they're already paying more back than what it originally cost. And uh, to figure out the, the total they're gonna pay for this furniture, we would add the down payment to the installment price, that would give us $10,920. They're gonna pay almost $2,000 more because they're paying for it monthly instead of just all upfront. These have been examples of installment loans. Thank you for stopping by.